Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the finding of the greatest common factor or what we call the GCF. So in greatest common factor, we're going to find the largest common factor of the given two numbers. So in this technique or in this lesson, we're going to use the prime factorization. It's either the composition method or the factor tree method or you're just going to list all the factors of the given numbers. Let's say we're going to find the GCF of 40 and 24. 40 and 24. So let us use the prime factorization under the decomposition method. So 40 40 and 24 okay so 40 is divisible by 2 now 40 divided by 2 that is 20 20 is divisible by 2 now we have 20 divided by 2 10 10 is divisible by 2 so 10 divided by 2 is 5 so the prime factors of 40 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. How about 24? 24 is divisible by 2. Divide by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 is divisible by 2. Now we have 6. 6 is divisible by 2. And 3. Now, the prime factors of 24 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, in this technique, align the common factors. We have 2, 2, and 2. After getting the common factors, get the product. 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. Now, this is our GCF, the common factor. So if you want to try using listing method, all you need to do is to write all the factors of 40 and 28, and the common factor for that will give you 8. Our second example, you have 27 and 42. So let us use the composition method again. 27 and 42. So some of our references use our decomposition method. Then find the common factor of 27 and 42. So we have 3. 27 divided by 3. That is 9. 42 divided by 3. That is 42 divided by 3, 1, 3, 12, so 14, 14. Next, 12 divided by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, okay? Next is 9 and 14. Do you have a common factor? So our GCF is 3. Now let us use the separate ways. So 27 and 42. So divisible by 3. So that is 9. Divisible by 3. Okay. So prime factors of 27 are 3 times 3 times 3. How about 42? 3, so 14, so 7 and 2. Now 3 times 7 times 2. So the common factor is 3, so align, so that is 3. Okay, so this is now the GCF. Now our Let's third example. Find the greatest common factor of 150 and 225. 
Let us find first the prime factors of 150 and 225. So let us use the composition method. So 150. Obviously, 150 is divisible by 5. Or if you want, it is also divisible by 2. So let us use 2. So 150 divided by 2, that is 75. Now, 75 is not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. So 75 divided by 3, we have 25. 25 is not divisible by 2. It is not also divisible by 3. But it is divisible by 5. So write 5. 25 divided by 5, so we have 5. Now, the prime factors of 150 are 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Now, let us proceed in 225. 225 is... Uh, it is not divisible by 2. It is not also divisible by 3. It is divisible by 5. So, 225 divided by 5, that is, so 4, 20, 25, so we have 45, 45. 45 is divisible by 5, so we have 5, then 45 divided by 5, that is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so we have 3. Now we have the common factors, so a line we have 3, we also have 5 times 5 times 3. Okay. Now 3, 5, 5. So multiply 3 times 5, that is 15 times 5 is 75. And this is now our greatest common factor, great, uh, 75. So that is the greatest common factor or finding the greatest common factor using the prime factorization. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.